Hello everyone and welcome to day five of the nine lives of the Yule Museum's cat head. Today I will be talking about how such a macabre item ended up at the Yule Museum of Greek Archaeology. For many years the Yule Museum's advertising leaflet was entitled Where Can You Find a Mummified Cat's Head in Reading? And the answer obviously was us. But how and where did we get this Victorian specimen jar that holds a severed uh, mummified cat's head? As with all our museum objects, the mummified cat's head has its own unique accession number. This allows us to look it up on our digital database, as well as in our physical archives. Its object number is 59.2.7. Here we find on our digital database notes on the object, as well as images. The cat's head was part of a group of Egyptian items donated by Professor Bassett in 1958. Professor Bassett was a professor of chemistry at Reading and his own handwritten note inside the um, jar describes it as head of a cat mummy ex cargo arrived from Egypt to Liverpool in the year probably about 1890 imported for making artificial fertiliser. Notes in our archive suggest that the collection he donated were put together by both himself and his father, who was also a noted chemist. Bassett's personal archives can be found in the university's special collection service. We can now look into the transport of animal mummies to Britain in the 1890s, and a good source for this is both local and national papers. So with thanks to Matthew Knight for compiling a list of newspapers uh, reports about the animal mummies, we can see that there are reports of um, a shipment of animal mummies in the 1890s. So one from the Birmingham Post, it says, an English firm I hear from a good source has secured a consignment of several thousand mummified cats from Egyptian tombs for the purpose of selling them for manure. These are to be delivered not in bulk, but in a powder. It being stated that this, when mixed with certain chemical, forms an even better fertiliser than the much talked about nitrate. As the Egyptians have previously been known to sell the mummies of their ancestors in order that they may be ground up into brown paint, paint of which they have said to be an excellent basis, no wonder need be felt that the remains of many sacred animals be found in their tombs should be similarly put to commercial use. That one from Birmingham, there are more from places like Belfast, Aberdeen, Dundee, and various other places, all talking about this massive consignment of um, Egyptian mummies. <laughs> Reports show that in 1889, at a site near Beni Hassan in Middle Egypt, a farmer fell into a hole that turned out to be an ancient catacomb filled with thousands of mummified cat remains. Later that year, approximately 19 and a half tonnes of mummified cats were shipped from Egypt to Liverpool. In 1890, an auction at the docks was held with the remains being advertised as used for fertiliser. Some of the better preserved and notable cats were auctioned separately and brought by institutions like Liverpool Museum and others brought by individuals for cabinets of curiosities. The topic of mummifying animals for votive offerings has already been discussed earlier in the week. But just to recap, animals were mummified for four main reasons. One, to provide food for humans in the afterlife. Two, to give as offerings to the gods. Three, to preserve their beloved pets. And fourth, to preserve sacred animals such as the apis bull. The cargo of mummified remains as stated, was reported from being from Middle Egypt, more specifically from a place called Spios Artemidos. At this site, there are two temples dedicated to the warrior goddess Paket. Paket was a lioness goddess, or otherwise known as she that scratches. She appears in the Middle Kingdom um, and was reasonably important. She was linked with other feline goddesses such as Bastet and Sekhmet. Although not widely known throughout Egypt, her temple had such a vast quantity of cat mummies all dedicated to her that research suggests 
that many of these offerings came from far away. This does demonstrate that Paket was an important deity to the ancient Egyptians, and like Sekhmet, she is seen as a fierce warrior goddess. But why was such an important and vast amount of animal mummies shipped to Britain? They were not destined to ever be displayed in museums or in private collection. The 19 and a half tons of mummified remains were imported to be used as fertilizers as reported in the press. And as reported in the press, it was thought that at the time it could be ground down and they had more benefit to the ground than things like nitrate. We are lucky though, that many of these pieces did get saved from the fate of being ground up and used as fertilizers. Thankfully, there are many still in collections such as the Yule Museum and Liverpool, and there are probably more in private collections.